हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर एन्जॉइंग योर जर्नी सो फार इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी गॉट एक्वेंटेड टू दिस एनिमेशन सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज कॉल्ड एज एनिमे का वाइट बोर्ड वी केम टू नो दैट वी कैन कीप ऑन प्लेइंग अराउंड विद द बैकग्राउंड इट कुड बी अ वाइट बोर्ड इट कुड बी अ क्लास बोर्ड ब्लैक बोर्ड स्टिच बोर्ड नोट पैड एट्सेट्रा वी ऑल्सो सॉ दैट वी कैन एड इमोशंस टू दी ऑब्जेक्ट्स we can uh, we can also add some effects for example the hand drawings etc in this video i'm going to show you how to start your very first animation in the software animaker whiteboard so let's get started uh let's start with the very first character which is this particular character as i had already uh, told you in my previous videos that for any animation you need a script so let me uh, explain it to you what exactly could be a script This is a very simple kind of a script. It's a very short video which uh, I'm going to show you today how to create a very first video in AnyMaker whiteboard. This is a script. I will start with introducing the character and we'll start with the topic for the day, the lecture topic and so on. The story moves on and until I reach the point number 13, I would be uh, talking about a lot of things in between. So let's see how to get started with the script and then with the story. So this is my script ready with me. My very first point is I would be greeting everyone and welcome them to the lecture. So what I can do is I can start with a character which is waving something like this, right? So next what I can do is I can add a text. So let's click on this text option over here and you can uh, click on this all. You can type your text over here. So let me follow my script which is hello everyone welcome to today's class so i will simply copy it and paste it over here okay hello everyone welcome to today's class so i can increase the size if i wish it will look something like this so let me play this and let's see how it looks you can see that both of these animations are playing at the same time so what we can do is you can go to the timeline and you can check the timing of each of these uh, separate objects for example if i click on this you can see that this particular object is starting from here and it is ending over here let me play it once again so that you get a hang of it exactly what is happening you can see both of them are starting at the same time but the durations are different what you can do is you can start this effect once this particular object has been drawn so how to do so it's really very simple simply click on this text effect and slide this at 2 seconds around 2 seconds this particular object gets finished okay so now let me play it and let's check how it looks now it's looking better right so what exactly happens is you have to keep on checking the timeline you have to keep on playing around with the timeline so that you can uh, move the text or move the animation according to your script so so far we have seen that how we can uh, keep keep moving the slider in the timeline so that we can start and end the particular effects as per our wish okay so now let's move ahead we have something else left in our script in fact a lot of things left in our script so let's start with the next point so in the next particular slide what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain what we are going to learn today so for example today we are going to learn what is cryptography copy this text okay let's see let's keep on checking our timeline okay at this point of time this particular text appears and it ends at okay we have not given the end time so what we can do is you can select this object and let's check the end time so what you can do is you can change the ending time that is you need to drag the rightmost end and bring it in okay so what we can do is from uh, 0th second to 4th second this object will be visible on the screen similarly this text will be visible from the second second to the fourth second okay so now let's play it and check how it looks like
ओके सो नाउ माय एनिमेशन विल बी अ फोर सेकेंड्स एंड आफ्टर दैट अ ब्लैकआउट विल अपियर और अ वाइट स्क्रीन विल अपियर ओके बिकॉज माई टोटल सीन इज ऑफ लेंथ टेन सेकेंड्स आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड द एनिमेशन इन फोर सेकेंड्स सो द नेक्स्ट रिमेनिंग सिक्स सेकेंड्स विल बी ब्लैक so what i need to do next is i know that my entire first scene will get completed in 4 seconds so i can reduce the scene length from here okay to and make it 4 seconds so now my first scene is complete let me play it so this is how the first scene looks like now to move ahead in the story or in the animation you need to add more scenes for doing so you can click on this add scene uh, button and a new scene will be added this is nothing but a new canvas for you to work upon so in the previous case as we saw that you need to add objects similarly over here also you need to add the objects or the characters i am not changing the character i am sticking with the character i am just changing the contents of the screen okay so for that purpose what i can do is i'll just follow the uh, story today we are going to learn what is cryptography okay so i need the object to be behaving in a similar fashion for example he might be asking some questions for example he might be asking a question such as what are we going to learn today so we can select any of the expressions from here for example let me select this thinking one okay so now what i can do is i can drag it to the uh, left corner and try to add a speech bubble how we can do so just click on this text and you see that there are n number of speech bubbles for you to select from you can select either of these for example let me select this it looks good okay place it over here and type your question for example what are we going to learn today okay you can keep on changing the text size if you wish for example let me keep it 25 Okay, just fit it inside this speech bubble. So for doing so, press and enter. Okay, you can see that it fits well within the speech bubble. You can keep on changing the size of the speech bubble. Okay, somewhere like this. Okay, accordingly you need to uh, uh, move your character also. For example, what we can do is you can put it over here and move the character below. So now what will happen is if i play it it will look something like this the same thing which we saw in the previous case similar thing will happen so now let me play this all together i have to click on this preview to check how the entire project looks like yes i want to save it press save and then it will be previewed So this is how the entire animation will look like. Isn't it cool? It's not complete. Obviously, you have a long script for you to play around with. Okay, so just for the sake of keeping the duration of the video short, I would just take one or two scenes and then show you how to add transitions between those scenes in a similar fashion we did uh, in the previous case also that is 2D animation. So before going into the next scene, let me simply uh, manipulate the timeline, okay, so that we can get the scene also of, uh, of duration 4 seconds how we can do so click on this particular object the object starts at 0th second and it should end at approximately 2.5 to 3 seconds or you can say 2 seconds okay similarly the text the text should begin at 2 seconds and it should end at 4th second okay now drag it from the extreme right because we want the entire animation to be of 4 seconds only the entire scene to be of 4 seconds only so drag it off and place it at 4 seconds so now let's play this scene yeah that is what we want so basically you can see that now we have two scenes so how to add transitions between those scenes it's really very simple over here you can see that there is no transition present between first and second scene so you can click on this no transition tab once and 
a drawer full of transitions will be shown to you. You can select any of the transitions. Okay, this seems good. This seems interesting. I can select this hand to the right. It looks cool, right? So now this is your transition. Now save your project and preview it. Let's see how it looks. This is the first scene. It got over and we switched on to the next scene. Isn't it looking cool? Right? So now what we can do is we can reduce the scene length from 10 seconds to again 4 seconds. So now our total video duration will be of 8 seconds. Clear? Similarly, we can add our third scene which is today we are going to learn what is cryptography. So again, you can click over here, add scene repeat the same process and in the same fashion you would be able to complete the entire script so the main thing you need to focus upon is your script once your script is ready you simply need to follow the script keep on adding characters in between keep on playing with the various transitions you can add in between the scenes keep on playing with the timeline so that you can crop the duration of your animation keep on playing with the uh, in time and out time of the various effects so that your animation looks cool so this is how we create a whiteboard animation in this tool which is called as animaker whiteboard in the next video i will show you how to add your voiceovers how to add text to speech so, uh, in the same fashion we did for animaker 2d animations we are going to repeat the same kind of process over here in the next videos so kindly stay tuned for my upcoming videos on this course which is called as creating interactive e-learning content thank you so much